Let's see if anybody's down. If anyone's down to clown around. This is kind of my only issue with Star Citizen at this moment. You know. Bugs are bugs. It's an alpha, whatever. They're trying to do some pretty great stuff that no one ever's ever done before, so. I don't really care about that stuff. What I would like to see is some more content for um, for space fighting, you know? Like, we have bounties, and that's it. The bounties are great, but once you get through the highest level and you've done that for a while, then what else are you supposed to do? You know, I don't know what I think they should put in for content, so it's not like I'm mad about it or anything. It's just, it would be nice to have something, something else that you could do, you know? might finally have a taker. All right, let's see how this goes. I haven't fought a real person in a while since I've, I haven't fought a person since I've gotten back on this game. There he is. Common courtesy when you're fighting is that you do one pass. And then you get it on. Just to make sure he's ready. Oh nice, he's in a fighter. Oh my god, that was fast. Was he already damaged? Yeah, he was already almost dead. <laughs> so his people are advised to stay away, and that means we go. Don't know what this place is, because I don't think anyone else is going to fight us, unfortunately. Well, the host Sam has been treating me well. I feel like, I don't know, it just feels so natural, you know? Having the mouse to aim is, is makes everything easier, and having the stick to for the movement is just so freaking nice, dude. Like, you have no idea. Using a stick for movement in space in the space game, oh my gosh. Not only does it make everything more intuitive and easy and smooth, it also just feels awesome, <laughs> you know? Like, I mean, that's the main draw of, of getting a, a sticks for a sim game. It's just, you just feel so freaking cool. It makes the experience just so much more enjoyable than using a keyboard. You know, using a you can be just as good on a keyboard. Don't get me wrong. May, you know, maybe even better. I don't know, but there's something about using the stick. It just makes it feel legit and you should definitely try it. All right. I don't know what's going to happen when I get there. I'm assuming they have an interdictor, which is going to pull me out of quantum and I might be stuck there for how long. I don't know. Hopefully we don't die. Wonder how hard this is gonna be. Arrow, probably not the right ship for this. Probably should have a squad of people. But if we die, we die, you know? What are you gonna do? Okay, that guy is not targetable. Guy can't target him. Here we go. The uh, game is being a little bit weird here. Okay. Just as I was saying, I wish they were more, you know, ship oriented content. Here we go. Try to pre nose him, but he's slowing down. Oh my god. Here we go. I don't even know what kind of ship this is. Down strafing, just circling him. That was not good hits, but he's moving kind of erratically, so it's okay. 
Just waiting for my guns to recharge. You know what? I don't know why I'm passing out there, like... It's not much, um... I didn't- I don't know where the G-forces were coming from, honestly. I'm just wave patterning away for a second while I recharge my shield. Spinning is a good trick, holding up strafe so that it makes a circle instead of just flying in a straight line. Back on the throttle, I don't want to overshoot him. He is moving weird for an AI. It's weird to predict. Yeah, that guy's fake. Like, he doesn't exist. I don't know where this other... There was two ships. I don't know where the other one is. There he is. I'm just gonna let him approach. That was a good maneuver. Again, I'm not really on the throttle very much. I am down strafing, though. Gonna try to describe what I'm doing because I know it's not easy to see. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> I mean, there's no way he can win unless I crash. He's in a buccaneer. Thing kind of sucks. Unless I just can't hit a shot. We're at really high speed right now, kind of. Well, not really high speed, but we are circling at a fast rate. Okay, I guess I'm supposed to go. Th to this thing. I took a lot of damage earlier because I wasn't on the throttle when I thought I was. Uh, that was kind of dumb, but you know, like I said, I'm just getting used to this game again. It's been a little bit. Here we go. I don't want to overshoot again, so I'm trying to ease my way in there with the down strafe to kind of stay moving away, but you want to be within a thousand meters. Especially with the attrition guns that I've got on here. Oh, it's a hammerhead. Frick. Well, there is a friendly here. Oh, he's real, too. Nice. Hopefully they don't shoot at me. Hopefully we don't crash. I don't think my guns are going to do much to him, though. That's the problem. Oh, he's damaged. I might leave the hammerhead to him and see if there's fighters that I can deal with. No, that's... Oh, God. There's more hammerheads? What? What are these? More hammerheads. Holy... Okay, well... Let's see what we can do. I'm trying to find which one they're shooting at so I can also shoot that one. I feel like they switched targets on me though. I'm just on the throttle just enough to stay near 500 meters as I can. failing miserably but he's moving away as I'm orbiting him which makes it really hard to stay consistent I think he's damaged oh yeah oh yeah let's go yeehaw dude okay I need to figure out which one of these guys are shooting next this one looks like they're shooting this one Oh, yeah. Got a lot of people on this one. Hopefully I don't crash into this other guy while we're orbiting. Oh, nice. It's almost down, I think. I need to get closer. What the frick am I doing? Oh, it's on fire. Ouch. Nice. 
Nice. Let's go. Kind of just nudging the throttle forward. Dude, that colony does work. I don't know how much I'm even helping. I mean, I'm helping when the shields are down, but I can't even get the shields down on my own. Like, if I sat here for infinity, I would not be able to break the shields of this thing. But I think I'm helping because once the shields are down, I'm putting fire on and preventing them from coming back up, maybe? That's my theory, at least. Now, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm helping in some way. Thing is, I just don't have any firepower that is really effective against these dudes. This guy's shields are all the way down, I think. Oh, that was a hit. That was a hit. Oh yeah, you see him burning. Wait for a full charge. Blast away. All green. All green. Let's go. <laughs> I think the whole server full of friendly ships is here. Nah, not the whole server. There's like three. At least three. He is so close to death. This is perfect too. 600 meters in. Maximum effective range of these attritions. He can't hit me at all because the arrow is way too fast. It's just a matter of me hitting my shots. My top gun's overheated. It looks like, oh, both guns are overheated. Sometimes they don't come back online for a second. It's weird. Nice. Okay, which one's he targeting now? There we go. I think there's four of us now. This is so crazy, dude. We're not even talking, but I'm just choosing whoever the Connie's shooting at. Because he does the most damage out of all of us. And then the other ships are joining in. Oh, we've got a Vanguard. Let's go, dude. Dude, we are making actual short work of this, dude. I think there's four of us. There's a Vanguard, a Connie, and then there's a there's an, uh, another guy here that I'm not looking at. I am by far the most useless out of all of us because my guns just aren't big enough to make a difference. But I am chipping away. I'm tickling him. I'm at least keeping his shields down, maybe. What's going to be the really sad thing is if any of us crash into each other. There we go. Okay, I don't think that was a hammerhead. Oh yeah, these aren't hammerheads. I can kill these. These are Valkyries, or what are these? Mantises? I don't know. I can kill these by myself. Even though I won't, looks like I won't have to. I need to get a little closer. Who is this guy? This guy's in a fighter? He's mine. What is he in? I can't even see him. I think this guy's a real guy. He's in a hurricane. I don't think any of those are actually... Oh, he's in a Gladius. I wonder if that guy's real. I'm gonna stay near a bald vulture here, because I'm kind of his escort. I'm just gonna go wherever he goes. You always want to wait for a full charge of your, of your weapons. Don't just fire them off. Because you do more, especially with the attritions, you do more damage the longer you're firing. But with all guns, you end up doing more the more you you put in. Because if you just if you break your if you break their shields, but you have to wait for your thing to recharge, your shields are going to go back up. I'm a little too far, but the shields are down, and I want to put damage on just anything. Because he was close. He was close to dying. Where are you at, Vulture? 
You're my guiding light. Collision alert. Yep. <laughs> Someone's gonna crash into somebody, but that's fine. This is the distance I want to be. Within 500 meters is ideal. I'm just not doing a very good job of paying attention to it. It's hard too because these ships are so big. I'm used to fighting other fighters so that when they're like big as a fighter on my screen, I'm still 2,000 meters away. Like, this ship is huge. That was close. I may have to adjust my orbit. I'm gonna stop down strafing just for a second so that I don't continue on that path. Now I'm gonna continue again because I'm really close to this thing. I wonder if I'm close enough if his explosion will actually kill me. There you go. This is my spot right here. Close in. This is where I, I get to be. Everyone else stay, stay a little bit farther back. I want to be so close that there's no lead. <laughs> At least that's what I'm going to try to do. Oh no! It happened. It happened! <laughs> oh, I hope I didn't kill him too. Man, I mean, as the arrow, I feel like, you know, that was my space to be in as close as possible. But they were in there, dude. I mean, the good thing is they don't need me to, uh, to do that. <laughs> Frick, man. I was really looking forward to completing that mission. Well, we ended up being KIA. It was friendly fire after all. It was my own friendly fire. It's only me to blame. I crashed into a, con a constellation or, you know, something. Crashed into some friendly ship and hopefully I didn't blow them up, but... Yep, that's, uh, that's the risk of war. That's the risk that you take, you know, we, we all knew what we were getting into when we chose to serve our galaxy in such a way. Fighting organized crime, you know, there's no, there's no way I'd rather die, to be honest, in a spaceship dogfighting against organized crime, you know, it's... It is glorious, and it was a glorious ball of fire. In, in my afterlife here, I just take solace in the fact that I made a difference. Even if it was a small one, my arrow, you know, however minute that ship is, we put, we put some damage out. And I like to think we contributed to the, to the explosion of several hammerheads. And even though I may be dead now, my legacy lives on in those people over there fighting to neutralize this Ninetales fleet. They're almost there, they'll probably be done soon, and I'll be happy to take part of the credit of this contract. And uh, even though I am dead now, and I have died, you know, for a just cause, my sense of duty is just too strong. I'm actually gonna, you know, go ahead and reincarnate myself and fly back there and help them finish off these scumbags. All right, guys, I'm coming. I promise I won't kill myself this time. Well, <laughs> on my way over here, the contract got completed, so, you know, GG's to them. They did it without me. It's funny, because I started out this session saying I wish there was more content for space, space combat, and look at that. We ended up doing a new space combat mission that encouraged, you know, the, the working together of the entire server to take down a bunch of criminals. That was freaking sick, dude. No matter what you think of this game, no matter how buggy it is, I mean, that was cool. That's the beauty. The beauty of a sandbox game right there. Exactly that. All right, with that, that ends this Star Citizen video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. Thanks for joining the Discord. Thanks for clicking that Twitch link in the description and following the Twitch channel because I do this live pretty often. The next video you see will most likely be a Modern Warfare 2 beta video. So I hope you enjoy that as well. We're going to be diving into a lot of that. I cannot freaking wait for a new Call of Duty. Still going to be playing Star Citizen, of course. I'm always going to be playing this game. Sometimes I take a break, but I always come back when there's new content. Uh, I always come back when I want to just feel freaking awesome on the OSAM. So anyway, I'll see you later. Adios.